Flowers for your at-home wedding? Flowers can create the perfect atmosphere, but sometimes can be expensive. Want to know how the pros keep things within a budget? Not to worry, we've brought you to the right place. Many of you will agree we've saved the best for last. We're in Quince Flowers, joined by Rosemary Little, and Rosemary will share some wonderful ideas. Everything you need to know about your ceremony and reception flowers. Rosemary, what are we seeing? What are some of the things that people can expect when they approach a professional like you about their wedding flowers? When you come to see a florist about flowers, you should have three things in mind, Nick. You should be thinking about your personal flowers, those being the flowers that you're going to carry, mm -hmm. the bridesmaids are going to carry, corsages and boutonnieres, anything yep. you wear on your person. Um, the ceremony flowers, the flowers that you'll have at the synagogue or the church or wherever, whatever location the, the event's taking place. And then the celebration flowers, the flowers that decorate the hall where you're going to have your dinner or uh, cocktail reception. Mm -hmm. It's important. Let's talk first, I guess, about the personal flowers. And I want sure. you to start to work on a bouquet because I love your bouquet okay. work. Uh, these days, we're seeing a move away from the plastic uh, bouquet holders. And more often now, you'll find that florists make a bouquet handle out of the stems of the flowers mm -hmm. themselves. Um, the shapes are generally a rounder shape, mm -hmm. a more of a nosegay shape, and often you'll have a center of uh, one sort of flower and then a collar of another sort of flower, like I'm doing here with the hydrangea. Great color combination. Yeah, and again, the color is stronger. You get more uh, brides these days asking for color rather mm -hmm. than whites and pastels, which is uh, a really nice contemporary look. Mm -hmm. And then we ribbon the stems, but often we leave them bare at least halfway down so that you can put the flowers in water. Okay, really important. And having worked with you, I know this for a fact. I've seen your flowers handed to a bride at 12 noon, and at midnight, they still look wonderful. You're going to give them to the bride. She goes for a photograph. She walks. All of these different things where the flowers really need to hold up. And I love this suggestion of keeping the stems open so that they can continue to drink water all day. That's right. It's very practical as well as a more natural contemporary look. Absolutely. Yeah. How about for the guys? Well, for the guys, boutonnieres have gotten a lot smaller. The scale has gone way down, which mm -hmm. is nice. There's no more sort of large <laughs> corsage happening on the lapel. Often it will just be a little foliage. For example, a little sprig of rosemary makes a lovely corsage. Nice name for a kid too, eh? <laughs> <laughs> sprig or rosemary? No, rosemary. <laughs> and then uh, maybe something like a seed pot. Okay. Um, this is a, a seed pod from... Okay, like that's totally amazing. Yeah, from the, this, this flower. to this? Uh, yeah, equally as beautiful. But well, I just, either one would make a great boutonniere, but bet. I quite like the unusualness of the seed pod mm -hmm. with just a very simple leaf behind it uh, makes a great mm -hmm. boutonniere. And if you wanted, you could take a little sprig of... Uh, the hydrangea blossom to pull something in from the bride's bouquet. Just a little bit, yeah. Just a tiny little bit. That's probably too much. Maybe like that much. Just a little Just bit. A tiny little, little accent. There. I right. love that. Okay, now uh, we're down the aisle. Everything's great. What happens at the ceremony, whether it be in a synagogue, a church, outdoors? What about ceremony flowers? Ceremony flowers need to frame the action. They need to bring the eye into the event and uh, to the couple where the wedding's taking place. Um, but the, a big consideration in ceremony flowers is reusing them. So you want to use your flowers in a way that the flowers can be reused at the reception to stretch your budget a little bit. That mm -hmm. helps um, most couples get through you know, the financing of the wedding. So for example, if you were using garlanding um, around a chuppah, you could then take the garlanding and put it down the length of the head table at the reception. Mm -hmm. You could take flowers from pew ends and you could decorate lecterns or the gift table or the buffet tables. You're absolutely right. So again, you want to uh, you want to be have an eye for longevity, so that the flowers have a water source and you can reuse them. Um, and a finger on the budget. And a uh, finger on the budget. Absolutely, that's, that's right. a wonderful suggestion. Let's talk about the celebration. So now we're in a ballroom or or the best part. Exactly. <laughs> and what what are we looking at? The changes now to to uh, reception flowers. Well, I think we've seen a move away from the single focal point at the center of the table to a more uh, building up of different components mm -hmm. in the table center. Sometimes, for example, you'll have rectangular tables, in which case you could do, uh, if you were using these little pots for your posies, you could do three, uh, little, three little posies down the length of the table. You could use little mosses, little um, maybe little clusters of hydrangea or little florets of some sort scattered around as well. Um, or if you had round tables, you could take the same three pots and put them together. And then at the end of the uh, celebration, you then have three little gifts to give to guests at your 
at your wedding. Absolutely. And you know what I love about that? People often ask me, okay, Nick, what do I give my master of ceremonies? What do I give my best man or whomever? Think about this. I think that's a wonderful tip, right. Rosie. That was absolutely fabulous to, to give something again. Well, I think we've pretty much covered everything. And I thank you so much for letting us come in and sharing all of these wonderful tips to our future brides and grooms. A pleasure. Thank you. You want to make me a couple of boutonnieres for the rest? Oh, sure. No problem. <laughs> no problem.